In this video, I'll show you how to fully set up from the very beginning your Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. This also works with the A9 and probably many other models. So let's get started. Once you power on your tablet for the very first time, this is the screen you're gonna see. Simply select your language over here from this very long list. And once you select it, press the start button. Then you have a few things to check. You're not obligated to accept every single one of these things. The only two things you need to check are end user license agreement and privacy policy. Once you check them, press agree. Now, if you already own a tablet device or maybe a phone and you want to transfer your apps, your account, passwords, stuff like that, you can do so simply if you want to set up this tablet based on your Android phone or tablet, or if you have an iPhone or iPad, you can press here. And again, like it says over here, copy settings, accounts, and more. Could be apps and other stuff like that. If you want your tablet to be identical to your other device. In my case, I prefer having a tablet that is different from my phone or my other stuff. So I prefer setting it fresh. Therefore, I will press set up manually here. Then I have to choose a Wi-Fi network. It will scan for all the networks around you. Then you just have to find yours in the list, click on it and then type the password. Then press connect. then press the next button if it was possible if not the screen will go by itself to the second step now they'll ask you if you want to copy your apps photos contacts and other stuff like your google account from your old phone or old tablet you're gonna press next if you don't want that and start fresh like i said you're gonna press on don't copy here now it's time to sign in into your Google account. This is usually your Gmail account. If you don't want to do that, you can press skip. The problem here is if you press skip and there is no Google account associated with this tablet, you won't be able to download any games, any apps at all. So your tablet will not be very useful if you cannot have access to very basic apps. Therefore, I'll go ahead and sign in into my Google account right now. Once you type your email, go ahead, press next. And now type the password of this Google account. Press next. And now to add the account, you just need to press I agree and wait a few seconds. Now you're going to go down and press accept. If you want this tablet to have a lock, like a passkey, maybe face recognition, so it unlocks simply by scanning your face with the camera, or maybe if you want to put a password or pattern, this is the time to put it. If you don't want to have any password, you can do that too, simply by pressing the skip button over here. Obviously, if you do this, if somebody steals your tablet, well, it will have access to all your information. So I don't recommend it, but for this video, I think I'll do it since it will be quicker. Now they will ask you about the Google Assistant. Go down this list. And if you want to have Google Assistant, which means you can ask about weather, maybe where is the next coffee shop or whatever, set the alarm to something. If you want to have this voice assistant, go ahead and press I agree. If you don't want voice assistant, press skip. Again, if you want the assistant, press I agree. If you do not want the voice assistant, press skip. Now they'll ask you if you want to sign in into your Samsung account. Your Samsung account is different than your Google account and you're not obligated to sign in into it. Uh, there's many things that you'll miss out if you don't sign in into your Samsung account, but in my opinion, they're not very important. So I'll press skip. But in the future, you can go ahead and uh, you can always change your mind. Here they'll tell you what you're going to miss out. So Samsung Cloud, uh, Find My Mobile, Galaxy Store, stuff like that. Many people won't use those in general, but uh, yeah, it's up to you really. Then over here, you're going to press Agree. And now you have to choose how do you want your display to look. So do you prefer a lighter color or with a darker background? 
you see you can press on them just to see a, a small preview I'll select light and press next then press finish and we should get the home screen appearing in just a few seconds here we go so this is the home screen of your Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus right now if you look on the top it's downloading stuff if we swipe down we're gonna see it's installing things so don't worry about this you can start using your tablet right away now let me show you how to install apps and do other stuff with your new tablet so the first thing is we need to find the Play Store it should be on your first home screen here if you do not see it swipe up from the bottom of the screen and here you're gonna see all the apps installed on your Samsung tablet and you should see the um, Google Play Store here here we go tap on it now if it's the first time that uh, you're using this you may click on this X button here just to close it then press got it all right so this is the Google Play Store where we're gonna download all your apps you can browse them just like you know any apps you can go uh, sometimes like this on the right side on the left side here you have games so if you just want to see games and this is it while well, you press games and you will only see games if you want to see apps apps it's for everything else that is not a game so mostly productivity stuff like here or social media you're gonna press apps then you have books over here these are not apps these are actually books and you have kids this is everything made only for kids okay so you have these options and you also have a search bar on the top where let me tap here you can search for a specific app so let's say I want to download the social media app called X well I'll just type X press the magnifying glass here it will search and the results will be on the left side you can browse them like this once you find it tap and on the right side you're gonna get a preview of the app you can see some screenshots maybe some information some reviews as well and uh, yeah you can use the tablet on this position as well you know horizontal or vertical so once you find whatever app you want press the install button you need to have a Google account connected to this tablet if you want to download apps if you're not already signed in once you're gonna press install it will ask you to sign in if you're already connected to your Google account because you did it during the initial setup then you won't be asked to enter your credentials every time it's just one time and that's all so now it's installing and by the way one once you press to to get the app you can exit the Google Play Store and start using your tablet you don't have to stay on the Play Store when something is downloading once the app is downloaded it will be put on the main screen or on the second screen and if you don't see it like in my case don't worry again swipe up like this and it should be the last one in this app drawer click on it to launch it and then you can use the app what if you want to delete an app so you're gonna keep press on it during a second like this then lift your finger next step is to press uninstall press ok and the app will disappear because it's uninstalling right now you won't see it appearing anywhere you see uninstalled X great the thing is not all the apps are deletable let's say you're trying to delete Samsung calendar over here you're doing the same thing there's no uninstall unfortunately you see the apps that come pre-installed with your tablet are mostly not deletable unfortunately so thanks for watching I hope this was useful please like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video